Tilla, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK and all around the world. Right behind me, YouTube, you see it. And anybody in the office is reviewing my content, please take heed to this warning. And just know there is no cursing from me and hopefully not from this video, at least in the first five minutes. And everything that's supposed to be blurred out is blurred out. Twitch.com, man. There's the uh, username at the bottom of the screen if you want to catch the next live. Uh, don't forget we do got merch and we got a Patreon. The link to everything is under the description, man. This is this is a video from having a shocker inside Scotland's roughest housing estate. Never, never. I don't even think we ever seen Scott. I, me personally, I don't even think we did a video where we've ever seen uh, Scotland. So this would be cool. Right? I mean, not cool, but like, it'd be like, wow. It's new to me, is what I'm saying. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Deep in the Scottish Highlands, some communities feel forgotten, abandoned, and desperate. This is their story. Kelly boy! I've always wondered if how much money your parents earn affects your childhood. So I've come to one of the poorest areas in Scotland to find out. So what, what, what's that, mate? Book fuss, yeah? That's a fucking Kelly party. When I grew up, there were a lot of youth in sports centres to keep us off the streets. It seems like that's becoming a thing of the past. What do you want to be when you grow up, man? <coughs> that's a hard question. Are you in a gang or something? You know what, sir? <laughs> Did he say a porn star? A corn star? K-Free. I'm at K-Free. 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 Big, big, big killer boys, man. Killer boys, I'm not. Yeah, but you should, you should try hard in school, man. I get kicked out. You got kicked out. That's really fat. Selling drugs on stool. Wait, that hangs on. Yeah, I'm gonna move that side, mate. I'm move that side. What, what do you think that is, the police? Fire engine. Fucking all lads. So do, do, do the police ha bother you a lot like? Uh, yeah. I want the fire engine. Fucking oh, okay, no. all. Oi, oi, oi. My bad. Oh. Is this a common thing in Scotland? Just bonfires everywhere? I don't even know why I muted it. That was my bad. The whole mute thing. Oh. Do, you like, do you lads carry anything or no? You don't no, carry anything. Are you this is best. Yeah, man. You're good, bro, yeah? Bro, uh, well, I'm gonna get off. That's good for you, man. Never let nobody get behind you. Yeah, no, no, a lot of y'all might not have peeped this, but this is politics 101. Bro, we asked him a question. He felt it. And you'll probably feel energy behind him. He was like, oh. no, sir. Watch out, buddy. Good, bro, yeah? Bro, right. well, I'm going to get off. I don't, I don't want to fucking deal with the police, man. Safe, yeah? Dear kids, just threw a gas bottle. Joke, man. What's going on there, mate? I just walking through. I just seen a fucking big fire, mate. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Fuck, fuck, crazy, man. They're, they're all wearing masks and stuff, mate. Yeah, Balaclavas, scary, bro. They, they think that camera, don't they? Yeah, scary, man. Safe. 
What's sad about the whole situation is like I understand it. They're from this poverty stricken area. They actually haven't got right. anything. And they were starting to see me as a target, like they wanted the they wanted the stuff off me. But you don't need to attempt to rob someone. Like there's better things to do. Oh, I, I was born into Bro got up out of there. See what I'm saying? That intuition kicked in. And they slowly get to start surrounding you like a poverty stricken area and I try to make these videos. Like it doesn't give you an excuse to just just try and add badness to the world. So if you lads that just tried to rob me are watching this, shame on you man. The media have painted a grim picture of life in this town. So I'm here today to see if they're full of crap or not. What is this area like to live in? Oh, not bad. Nice air shutters, nice countryside, a lot of villages. Oh, okay. Yes. Do you think it's like a, a dangerous place? Oh, they're all dangerous. <laughs> it's a bad world. Okay. Yeah. What, what's, the, what's the biggest problem Fair. of this town? Uh, not, not enough work. Not enough work. No. So if you could improve it. Yeah. Not enough work is always going to be the key to, I mean, there's, a, there's always going to be a strong point of not enough work where there's a lot of crime around. But at the end of the day, as a man, and as, as a anything, I can honestly, you want to feed yourself and your family. And do more for the youngies and still let them run loose. Yeah. Need no, need, the youngies are need more to do. So the youngers are a bit crazy here? Yes. Okay. Need, need, to, need more to do. There's no mining days, all, they're all fathers that learnt them. Now they're no care, they let them run loose. Oh, okay, so you'd put them back down the mines? Yeah, get them down the pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I personally couldn't live without the luxuries of modern life but some things in the past were actually better when my grandparents were growing up industry in the UK was thriving without it now towns like this are left to rot the best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something like a little well put together little documentary type joint. I like this. It's not just a tour. It's not just a. It's not just a. It's not just a walkthrough. There's like. It's like the history of it. Like I like it. I like what's going on here. This is my first day doing this. I saw the ladies doing this last week and thought, well done. And then I spoke to them, and joined their WhatsApp group. Okay. And. When you look at areas like this that are covered in litter, it just makes you feel really down. So if we're trying to get more and more people involved um, to do things like this, hopefully um, reinstill a, a bit of pride in, in where you live. I don't know what's went wrong. Yeah. But I think they should have other people like to do it instead of the 74-year-old person. What would you say like the, the biggest problem that this community faces? I think probably deprivation maybe. Um, people are probably struggling on low incomes and it's very difficult to think about other things when you're surviving and you're just managing to put food on the table for your kids. Yeah man, see? See? It, the money is always the root. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say money is the root of all evil, but like, that's not the full story of it all, you know what I'm saying? In the world we live in, money is a necessity. And when you don't have enough to do your essential stuff, things get a little spooky. It's, um, so I think, yeah, it's hard to think about litter when you're actually, you've not got that security of just food and heating. So if everybody just does a wee bit to help, then everybody's going to feel better and maybe create a bit of a sense of a community. But that's a long way. <laughs> that's a long way off. Grass is green out there, dang. Okay, a little brown too. What is it like to live in this area, Kilmarnock? It can be quiet, but as I said, there's no shops. They've shut most of the town centre down now. Everybody's getting hit hard with all the raises, the prices and everything. Because even like, the food shops and everything, even they're saying, obviously their prices have shot up, so there's a lot of them shut down and all, don't Oh, it's really left here, there's drug users mostly. And this thing is... Delish food is crazy. So there's a lot of them shut down and all, don't oh. That's a crazy name. Delish food. It's really left here, there's drug users mostly. 
And that's done this. What's like the worst thing you've seen happen around here, mate? We're in here. Well, I've got a big slice on my arm myself. Yeah. Boys, there's quite a few boys that don't care if like, they blades with them all the time. They just don't care anymore, they gave up. Yeah. As I said, the police don't go chasing them that much anymore because they don't do like random stopping searches up here. They've gave up with that. So now it's just, obviously you just need to watch your back it's at every like angle, lawless. really. It's, it's, no, it's no good, obviously. And you, you better chill, but... You like slash on the arm, like, what was that? Uh, that was a machete, that was just uh, passing through the underpass, got to short lease for a bunch of boys. Because I was like a wee skater when I was kind of a couple of years ago, man. Like, that's all they yanked me out because I was wearing skinnies to start slagging me and that. So I turned around and goes, what was that you said? And he just machete came out and tried to swipe and got me right down my arm. I ended up with 34 stitches across my right arm. <sighs> One and four... My right arm. One and four people in Kil... Wait, Kilimark Knock... Wait, what? In Kilmar Knock live in deprived neighborhood. One in five children and live in poverty. One thousand three hundred thirty-nine people died of drug misuse in Scotland last year. So you you just told me a little f fact about the the drug dealers around here, mate. What, what was that? Uh, the drug dealers are carrying care breeders now to <laughs> take money for their drugs. Just to think nobody's got money to afford them. Touching and paying. That's a new one to me. Uh, drug dealers. That's a crazy digital mark that you're leaving on the world. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to be under the radar and you out here accepting credit cards is insane. Readers with card readers. <laughs> My visit to Kamarnock was wrapped up by witnessing a man threatening to kill David. Fucking move, right? If you don't, if I see you again, we're here. I'm gonna kill you, right? But other than that, people of Kamarnock were genuinely quite friendly. The following day, some friends I'd made, Aiden and Craig, had agreed to show me around one of the most run-down estates in the country. So I was in Kamarnock, yeah. and there was like 40, like 14 to 18 year olds having like a fucking party <laughs> under a bridge. This, this is what happens. This, this bridge up here is where me and all my school pals used to go and get absolutely mad with it. Like yeah. every single day of the week, we used to just go up there, sit underneath a bridge and get drunk. Yeah. Like, it was the worst. And what has become of your life since then, sir? Please, but it was so fun. So I went there and I was filming them having this fire. Aye. And then, like, the fire service come, like, all fucking, like, spray... Sooty and booty, not Just spraying the hoses and that. And then I, I kind of got, like, a little bad feeling, you know, like... A, I got feeling, uh, Yeah, I got feeling, and the... The, the lads that was just lurking around then just had like masks on, you know, like balaclavas and uh, that. Yeah, and, and one guy kept like going going behind me, like standing behind That's me. Very sus. And I kept shifted. I kept like stepping back and I said to him like, "Oh, are you all right, mate? Like, like, what's going on?" Mm. And then he, you know, he'd walk off. Yeah, nah. Never let nobody stand behind you, man. That's like unless that's your blood brother. That's the only person that can stand behind me freely. I don't trust that type of energy or security guard. <laughs> Off and, and stuff, and I was like, I've got to get out uh, of here. Yeah, yeah, before, before something does happen. Feels dodgy. So uh, when the fire engine turns up, I use it as a cue to get out, like, uh, and I start walking quickly, and then they fucking start throwing gas bottles at me, man. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, start throwing gas bottles at me. So I'm, I'm like, uh, if I'd have stayed there any longer, they probably would have ro 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 robbed me, man. I'd say, see the schemes in Edinburgh. Yeah. They are a lot worse now. Skiing, the Scottish Council Estate. Glasgow was. Oh, okay. So if you're wanting to actually experience like still Ned culture, yeah. bounce to Edinburgh because you will experience it. Non-educated delinquent. Basically a Scottish vandal slash hooligan. Different accents, similar clothing, and same attitude. This is W editing. Editing. Ain't it going on? So like I heard Ned like if someone was saying non-educated delinquent. Yeah, yeah. But like, is it, is it more like deep than that? Like, it's like gang culture or something. Low key, but like not really. It's like you, you see someone non-educated delinquent. It should Hold on, are we not gonna address what what is going on behind us right here? What is all of this? This is normal. This is normal housing. This is where are we? <laughs> where did we just teleport somewhere else? Bro, what is going on? Just the people that are hanging. Scotland is really like this? Hanging about doing antisocial 
sort of stuff, ah, right? Yeah. And uh, not all of them are non-educated, right enough, right? It's just the word that's been used is Ned. Okay. No, I don't even know. This is not even like the subject of 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 the video right now. This. There's boarded up houses, like, what is, go like, there's trash everywhere. But, um, yeah. it's more just like, just your troublemakers and bams, is it? Young teams. Uh, now, I will say the hedges are well kept. The little, whoever comes around and does the maintenance on the bushes, is, they did their thing, but, you know what I'm saying, nice bushes. What about this up here? Somebody come put a window in here. Young teams. Yeah. Young teams. Yeah. Young teams, groups from a different air. Wait, okay, hold on. It's not L reading. Hold on. Groups from a different areas. Groups from a different. Groups from different areas who engage in everything from casual violence or intimidation to open street warfare. Uh, warfare. Casual violence is insane. I ain't even never I've, I've never heard these two words next to each other. Casual and violence. That's tough. So, it, it is sad though to think like, you know, the, so a, a la the lack of housing as well. Uh, and it, these could be put to use, but yeah, not, man, like, especially for people like me as well. Like, I've been looking for a house for months. That's probably like eight, nine months uh, I've been on the waiting list. Yeah. Nothing, nothing get her back. But if these so we're in a housing estate right now? It's worth that up running, I could have got one of these like that. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, oh, this is all, like, just closed down? Fucking ruined. Oh, dear, oh, mate. How, how long does this go on for? There's more rolls down. Did bro just say, um, if these were open and running, he would have a room like that in a second? On there. Mashing. Oh, it's, it's just that big like, codfish. Yeah, no, man. This is great cinematography. What do you got? What 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 is that? A million lumen light? Flashlight? Not gonna even lie, this is giving me real Caprini Green vibes right now. Like this is what it kinda remind me of right now. A bunch of abandoned Slightly occupied old project buildings, mostly torn down. The the bigger ones, but it's a bu a bus got the nerve to be going through this. This is insane, man. You spent the night. How many, how many houses do you lads think there's there's around here? Like what well, abandoned or in total? Ab abandoned, like. Good few hundred. Mm, no quite, like 100. 80 odd, 80 right. odd give or take. 80 odd houses. That okay, no. upstairs. Bro, this is like Chernobyl. Like, isn't that, it's like an abandoned, this is whole abandoned neighborhood. Like, what is going on? Was there a zombie apocalypse and everybody just left or something? Like, what is, what is like, somebody, why are they not fixing these up? Like, at least to the bare minimum. And downstairs because uh, they're, they're separate. Uh, they're separated here. Oh, so they used to be like flats. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like, uh, so it's like one one would have downstairs, one would have upstairs. Yeah. Uh, that's the closest anybody stays. That was over there. Oh. Okay. So it's like it is genuinely right next to houses yeah. that people still stay in. So do 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 people like avoid walking through this like uh, estate at night or? Yeah. Probably not anymore. Yeah. If people like see the people that stay in Fiji. This is the hardest hood in the UK that I've seen ever. Like this is the hood. This is it. Imagine these with people in them. Boom. There you go. There's an American hood for you. At least they took people out of these mugs. This is crazy. Mattresses in the yard. These bring back memories. This is how I learned to do backflips and stuff. Mattress in the backyard. Probably not. Because, like, we're used to it. Yeah. But if you're coming through, like, from Linwood, where he stays, from the PJ into Paisley, I don't imagine any of them would yeah, even want yeah. to touch it. Bro, how much? We need to start selling these off. How much? Cause all, all the schemes don't get along either, so it's like this said like a Call of Duty map. This dude look like a Call of Duty map. Like you just drop in right here, land on the roof, go look for some weapons and things of that nature. See, people from Limwood yeah. wouldn't 
like get along with people for Fige, people for Fige wouldn't get along with people for Johnston. Short routes as well. Yeah, so it's like all the different schemes have their own young team, and that's like all the different schemes these Neds fight each other. Yeah. <laughs> So, so like it, it's similar to like English gang culture. Yeah, ah, it's like the man them, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I went, I went to, I went to like Postle, uh, Postle Park. Postle, 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 Postle Park, yeah. Postle. And, and uh, if they were to start selling these houses off for a dollar, like a, a pound, would you have to be a resident? I surely get like twenty dollars, go buy twenty of them, try to give me a little loan to come fix them up, and like you know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, we're walking Aye. in this puddle. Yeah. <laughs> and there was like a, there's a, there was a vigil, like a vigil. Aye. You know, for like a, a young lad, and all. I just wondered if he'd been involved in it, any stuff like that. Guys, you know, like, so yeah. it is. It's a really bad thing with teenagers, especially. I want the generation. Uh, Scotland is really, really hood. <laughs> Scotland is ghetto. Bad thing with teenagers, especially. I'm not gonna lie, this is very shocking. I didn't know none of this was happening in this country. Well, the generation uh, younger than we just wondered back, if he'd been please. involved in it, any stuff like that. Guys, you know? Even these buildings is shocking to me to see this, like. Oh, so RIP, dude. It's a really bad thing with teenagers, especially. I well, the generation uh, younger than us have started picking it up a wee bit more. Yeah. But that's just because they are trying to be like Neds compared to. Where it used to be. I'm low key, man. Like this neighborhood, like I would try to buy the entire thing and just call it the lit neighborhood. <laughs> the lit hood. <laughs> lit neighborhood. Some. Like the generation before us. Yeah. Whereas they actually all fucking hated each other's guts. Like, aye, aye. they had no reason to hate each other's guts. Other than the fact that it was they stayed at our places. Yeah. That was the only reason they didn't like each other. And Paisley, it was postcodes as well. Aye, postcodes. See, so Paisley and Glasgow. Yes. Yeah. Instead of all the schemes, it's all the different postcodes who all fight each other. Yeah. Just but because like, where I'm from, that's what it is as well. Uh, yeah, it's postcode post wars, man. Yeah. Then also the ice cream wars. That was a thing in uh, like the 80s and 90s. Ice cream wars. Yeah, it was about the ice cream vans <laughs> and <laughs> the ice cream vans were drug dealing. Yeah. Behind counter. And uh, it was like by the gangsters. I uh, the gangs owned. It. I remember the ice cream wars. We did a wars. We did a document. We did a documentary on it. Ice cream vans. <laughs> and so they are like gangsters. Would you say panning? Ice, other ice They'd cream vans as well. Shoot, yeah. my, my uncle used to do uh, an ice cream van. Yeah. Uh, fucking my dad was covering for him one day and uh, he, like, as he was going into the shift he was like, ah, there's fucking bullet holes in the van, I'm not doing this. Aye. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, like, bullet holes in his ice, in cream, the ice cream van. van <laughs> you, like, he used to get them molotov and everything. Oh, Shotgun. Because everyone just assumes you're like drug dealing out of no, yeah. there. Scotland seems like a, just a, like a crazy spot to be. I would love to see the nice part. <laughs> Golly. Where? Like, oh, they, like they actually were. Every one of them. Oh, okay. Then if you went to a scheme that wasn't the scheme your ice cream van was in, yeah. there's no chance you're making it back out. Like, Aye, because you're dealing on other people's turf. It's no bad. deal. Not <laughs> anymore, <laughs> right? This was like 80s and 90s type shit. Oh, no. ice cream that's, I think that's the most interesting thing I've learnt today. So, like, if you, if in the 90s, early 2000s, you went to an ice cream van around here, you could, you could probably <laughs> score. Buy some smack. Aye. <laughs> no deal. I want a, a 99p smack, mate. <laughs> that's. We did that in America as well. Well, they they did that in America as well. Cities like New York, they was been doing that. New York, Chicago. <laughs> it worked for as, as long as it worked for. I said bye to my friends and took some time away in nature to prepare for the final visit of my trip. Oh remember. yeah, Paisley. Okay, that was Paisley. Some time away in nature to prepare for the final visit. Pa Paisley was desolent. What What's the word I'm looking for? Desolent? Derelict. Paisley was derelict as hell. <laughs> Golly. Oh my God, it's about to get worse. I was just trying to decode why this had these little asterisks, but then I'm like, ah, okay. Bit of my trip. I can't believe that this is the the same place as what, what you just seen earlier, you know, the, the ghost town and stuff. Wow. What you talking about? So I'm just on the train there now. 
had a bit of a rough night on the push as you do in Glasgow and I'm going to my final stop of the trip a place called Port Glasgow Port and I heard that there's a uh, three apartment buildings or like high-rise um, towers but it's just full of squatters so they're all like living illegally there's, there's a big a big and massive like estate tenements yeah and it's just hundreds of tenements and they're all abandoned they'll be filled it's, it's like a whole estate is abandoned bro why is there so many abandoned buildings and why are there so many abandoned estates whole neighborhoods in scotland two is too many go ahead tear them down do something else why are there so many you just give us you just giving people a reason to cause trouble a bunch of people not paying rent with roofs over their head. All they got to do is like, come on, dad. Like, what do you expect supposed to be happening over here? People still live in them and there's a lot of trap houses and stuff. So there's like squatters as well. Uh, yeah, 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 there's squatters, yeah. there's bandos, uh, there's everything, man. Like, uh, after you, the, you can just walk in as well. So you could actually uh, just go and video stuff. Just be careful. Yeah. See if there's a door that's locked, don't unlock it. Oh, okay. Watch right. your just, feet as well. Uh, yeah, 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 needles and shit. Yeah, man. You've been where they're going? You from Scotland? Talking to the chat. I, I've, been, I've been watching the video. This so I've crazy. just arrived at the Heron Heights, which allegedly a lot of people are squatting in. And honestly, it looks terrifying. Oh my God. Jesus. You know what's crazy? Up north, like Northwest side in Chicago, they just, they did some, they redid some, um, some, some, some projects that used to look, that look like this. They just redid them and they opened in some. Well, when I was there, they were opening some of them. Honestly, this is sketchy, man. And it's a huge compound of, of all these flats where people are. People. Are this. Why is this still here? Oh my god! Like this is like movie scene type stuff. Squatting, but even the shops, mate, even the shops abandoned. It's like this town, uh, this like apartment complex has just been forgotten. Like, okay, so I've just found a way in, man. I, I don't really know what to do, mate. I'm fucking shitting it, mate. My hell, no, nah. no, sir. Nah, what you mean you found a way in? You might not never come out of there. You about to teleport to the dark realm. Like, what is this? I like, have you ever had that feeling in life where like you feel like being watched but you don't know where from? I got that feeling the whole time. Dave? John? Dave? Why don't you start calling names? Hello? Hello? Is that an American accent? Hello? Hello? Call a UAV. <laughs> Got a stick. <laughs> Dead. Ain't no way. It looked like it got good bones, good structure. Like why I don't understand why the stuff these they're not being used. What the what is happening? Bro, it looks up to date. <laughs> the kitchen appliances. Look, the stove had a hood on there. This is stainless steel. Like what is hap like why? I'm so lost at why this is like this. Like, this. <sighs> oh, man. yeah, that was, uh, that was obviously someone was living in there, and there's uh, still the, you can the go ahead uh, and exit up out of here. See, what's that like alarm thing going off? Proper strange, and the fact that like the door is just open, wide open. Make sure you're all right. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering, what happened to all these buildings? Oh, oh long, story. Right, long story. We got time. First of all, 
be very careful when you're in there. You shouldn't bend them because they're dangerous. But okay. you're an adult, so I can't stop you going in there. Yeah, I'll, is yeah. there people living in there? There are four families that still live in these houses. Okay. The whole, the whole area has uh, been left like this, as you can see. And 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 they're squatting in there. No, they're, they're actually they're not squatting. Um, oh, okay. Because there's a mixture of private owners and council own these buildings. So okay. The private owners uh, rent them out. Yeah. And those houses are still livable. Oh, okay. But the rest of them you see. And and they still choose to live here even though they're like dangerous still, stuff like. Still still choose to live here, you know. So our job <coughs> is to make sure people aren't really inside them because it's dangerous. You see okay. it yourself. People are going to kill themselves in there. It's so bad that it gets set on fire. The vandalism, the youth. So that's kind of our job. That's why we're here. And um, w- was people squatting in there before? Because that's what well, I've, I've been told. Like there has been people like so, maybe there's, there's eight, a lot nine, of lies. A lot of lies. About about, about, yeah. they're full of drug dealers. And yeah. They're full of gangs. Oh, okay. It's just people who like these people here have stayed there for years. They, they've been here that long. This is their yeah. home. They yeah. might even own it. Yeah. Because yeah. this is practically if there's there's 400 houses here. You got me. Well, I would never live here. I don't care what's going on. What is the state of housing? And you, I'm me, three other tenants, and 400 abandoned units. I'm not doing it. Oh, what? I'm not doing it. Ain't no way. You can never convince me. Nothing in me would be like, oh, I'm going to stay here. I got too much pride. No, I'm gone. Good night. Sayonara. 200 in my private. Yeah. Okay. Right, a council owned half the houses here, or just over half. The rest are all private houses, so they're all waiting to sell them. Yeah. Or waiting for the houses to make a good deal to buy them. I couldn't imagine living with the fear of burning alive, having my windows smashed, or... Not even with a firearm on that land stand here. No. For what? I would never get sleep. I'd, ne- I'd be too paranoid. Being broken into, all because the council are not willing to pay me what my property is worth. I'm not saying it's the children doing it, but these, these are going on fire two or three times a week. You know? Okay. And it's going to take that one time that they set on fire and somebody's stuck. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's dangerous. Or it sets silver flats oh, on fire. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's the worry. So we check this maybe four or five times a day. There's two families in the last one. There's one down there and then down 18 like on the left hand side. There's, yeah. There's people staying in there. What do you mean, flat. families? The children? Oh, my boy is overly bold. He went and knocked on somebody's door? Hi, yeah, I'm a, a, I'm making a documentary. I just uh, wondered if you'd want to chat about why you don't want to leave the flat. I'm making a documentary. Oh, okay, okay. Is that a bullet hole? Oh, okay. They all kind of like group next to each other. I mean, that would make me feel better, but like, not, not really. He tried. I'm, I'm, I'm knocking on the other doors, mate. It doesn't matter. Just fuck off. I'm, I'm from, I'm from the media. The what? Oh, all right, mate. Yes, yeah. Right, salute. I ain't even gonna lie, I'd be up out of there too. Oh, well, it's a shame. I mean, I salute the level of journalism, but I also understand the tenant. Like, nah, nah, buddy. Looking back on my time in Scotland. Fuck, fuck, put your helmet. Fuck, put your helmet. Fuck, put your helmet. Kelly, boy. Man, heavy, heavy statement. I have to admire the strength of the people. What struck me the most was that for many here, suffering isn't a choice. It's the circumstances handed down through generations. One afternoon in Paisley, I had the pleasure to speak with two gentlemen who had seen Scotland change over the past 60 or so years. Virtually every major industry that this place had is going. Absolutely. And Kilmarnock will be the same, and I'll bet you you go down south. Most of your cities all over the place. Yeah, it's the same. Have a look at Durham. They're just wiped, oh wiped out completely. Mm-hmm. Decent, valuable jobs. So people don't have hope. 
You don't have hope. They've got nothing to lose by behaving badly. <laughs> nothing to lose. Why? That's true. What are you going to do That's to true. me? You know, yeah. what are you going to do? You're going to laugh me. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, back in our days, you would be worrying about getting laughed because you think, if I get, I, I get that mark, I'm not going to get to where I want to get out of no. the type of employment I'm in. Well, and tradi- we did this. Uh, yeah. Traditionally, amongst the working class, education was the yeah. road out. Yeah. Education was the road out. You was for us. You, you, you would mm-hmm. even you would go to night school. You could have a, a, a labouring job, but if you, you could go to night school, you could study, and from that, gain certificates and move on. Yeah. We have a college down the road there that doesn't offer any night classes, okay. neither for recreation. I don't want to stay up in that night. After what I've seen, I wouldn't want to win. Nor for self-advancement. And I don't think the uni does either now. I don't, I don't, don't think the uni does either. That's a scandal. That's yeah. a scandal. Public scandal. That will come down to oh, scandal. Lack of investment. Lack of investment. Lack of investment by government. Yeah. We, we live in a... Seems like a safety issue. Wealthy country. I mean, let's let's face it. We're not living in a country that's poor. We're one of the wealthiest countries in the world. And mm-hmm. um, over the period of COVID, the wealthy have got wealthier hugely. I mean, you, this is not just my numbers. Go to the ONS, you'll see it. Stacks of figures where the rich will get richer and richer. Yeah. I think and how do they do that? They do that at the expense of the poorer. I think that's. Part of the reason for the youth being upset because they're no silly. You don't have to be, you know, highly educated to know when you're being shafted. Yeah. And and they look at the people that run society today, and they, they realise these people don't care for us one iota. Why should we care for them? Yeah. And their institutions, if them. That's basically it. Not gonna lie, man. This is a little good piece of little documentary. I ain't, I wasn't expecting that. It's great cinematography. Great uh, bravery. You feel me? Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. The original video is in the comments. I'm go. And I mean, not the comments. The uh, description. I'm gone.